Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at dividends, but we are specifically going to look at the treatment in the cash flow statement. Now, we have done the cash flow statement both using the direct method and the indirect method. We explained in detail how to complete it and went through a thorough example. But what many have asked is why we treated dividends the way we did in the cash flow statement. And in this lesson, we're going to clarify why we did that. So what is dividends? Obviously, we know that a dividend is cash paid out to an entity's shareholders from its earnings. Dividends actually paid out is a cash outflow from the entity and needs to be accounted for in the cash flow statement. And that's why we are doing this one here to show you how you need to account for it or how you should account for it. So as many have been wondering, Look at these two cash flow statements and tell me what is the issue here with the treatment of dividends. On the left, we have the exact same cash flow statement as the one on the right. But if you see here, you will find that the dividends paid is under the operating activities section of the cash flow statement. But this one here on the right, it's under the financing activities section of the cash flow statement. Which one is correct here? Well, the answer is not so clear cut. And why? Because it all depends on the standard that is applied. So let us explain. Let us look at the two common standards that we have here. We have IFRS and IAS 7 talks about cash flow statements. And then we have US GAAP or US generally accepted accounting practice. So here's how they account for dividends. And we're also going to touch on the interest paid and received. With IFRS, Dividends paid and interest paid are classified as either operating or financing activities. So what are we saying here? If you are using or if a company is using IFRS to prepare its financial statements, that means you will see dividends paid and interest paid under either the operating activities section or the financing activities section. So that is what you'd see. So if you're using IFRS, it would either be in the operating activities section or the financing activities section. So IFRS is a bit more lenient whereby you can choose where you account for it. But with US GAAP, you will see that dividends paid are classified or must be classified as financing activities. And that is why many were wondering, we did our examples where we accounted for dividends under the operating activities section. And why is that? That's because IFRS was applied there. But if we were using US GAAP, you'd find that dividends paid would be classified as a financing activity. I hope that now makes sense as to why we accounted for dividends the way we did. What about dividends received? What about interest? Well, with IFRS, dividends received and interest received may be classified as either an operating activity or investing activity. So if you receive dividends as a company or you receive interest, then you would classify it under operating activity or investing activity. So you have that choice to choose between the two sections of the cash flow statement. What about US GAAP? Well, here it is. Dividends received, interest received, and interest paid are classified as operating activities. So if we have highlighted these things here, you will note that if you see dividends paid under the operating activities section, then you will know that it's most likely using the IFRS standard. But if you see it under the financing activities section, then it would either be using US GAAP or IFRS standard because IFRS also allows you to record dividends paid under the financing section as we have highlighted. And if you see dividends received and or interest received under operating activity, then you will know that it's using one of the two standards if those are the ones that they are using. But if you see it under investing activities, then you'll know that it's using IFRS. So I hope you know how to apply the standard when you're dealing with dividends in the cash flow statement. Now here is what I want to do. I want to show you two financial statements from real companies which are listed on the stock exchange and see how they have accounted for specifically dividends paid. The first one we're going to look at is Mesmat and look at their cash flow statement and see how they accounted for the dividends. And here we are. The first thing I'd like us to note is what I've highlighted here. Here's what it says. 
and its consolidated and separate financial performance and its consolidated and separate cash flows for the year then ended in accordance with international financial reporting standards which is IFRS. So what you know here is that they are applying IFRS. So what does that mean? It means you will see dividends paid either under operating activities or financing activities because it's IFRS. They allow you to account for it under any of the two sections as we highlighted earlier. So let's go down and look at their cash flow statement and see exactly how they have done that. So here is the group statement of cash flows. And what you will see here is the dividends paid is over here. And that is under the operating activities section of the cash flow statement. And that is because they are applying IFRS. So if you look at the statement of cash flows and you're not sure which method they're applying and you see dividends paid under operating activities, then you know that it's IFRS and not US GAAP because US GAAP would require you to account for dividends paid under the financing activities section of the cash flow statement. The second cash flow statement we're going to look at is for Apple. So we're going to see how they accounted for dividends. It's also listed. And here we're going to see what they have said about which standard they use. It says here the preparation of financial statements, and this is for Apple, and related disclosures in conformity with US generally accepted accounting practices, which is GAAP. Okay? That is what they're using. And it says, and the company's discussion and analysis of its financial condition and operating results require the company's management to make judgments and so on. So what I have pointed out here is that they use the US GAAP. So what do you expect to see? We expect to see especially dividends paid under the financing activities section of the cash flow statement and not the operating section of the cash flow statement. So let's go and see what they have done. So as you can see here, the consolidated statements of cash flow, you will note that under financing activities, you will see payments for dividends and dividend equivalents. And it's under the financing activities section of the cash flow statement. You know that they're using the US GAAP as we had read earlier on. But remember, if it's under the financing activities section, it could either be IFRS or US GAAP because IFRS allows you to record it under the financing activities section as well. But here we know that it's US GAAP because we have been told that was the case. I hope that clears up the issue of how you account for dividends in the cash flow statement. If you have gained value from this lesson, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time, cheers.